Hello YouTubers. Today we're going to learn how to install Home Electric. What I have here is a mock-up of what your inside wall would look like at your house if there's no drywall on it. Uh, got two studs right here, 16 inches apart, and this is going to act as our uh, ceiling. I'm going to be installing an outlet down here, a switch right here that operates this light right here. Alright, so now I'm going to go over the materials you need to complete this task. I'll start with the side cutting pliers. They're called that because if you notice, they have a cutting jaw right on the side of them. Next, the wire strippers. Uh, they strip 10 gauge to number 6 gauge. Um, and I'll skip right to uh, the Romex wire, number 14-2, and they operate like so. Strips the sheathing right off the wire. Next is a Phillips tip screwdriver. Then a power drill and a half inch wood paddle bit. Next is an insulated Romex staple. It's used to hold the Romex onto the stud like so. A single gang plastic work box. You nail this onto the stud. If you see the nails right here, you just put on the stud and hammer it in. Next, you're gonna need wire nuts. Probably for this task, we'll need a dozen of them, and I'll show you how to use these later. Uh, next, a duplex receptacle with its cover plate. Following that is a single pole switch with its cover plate. And then, you're going to need what's called a keyless fixture, and this will be our light fixture for the project. When I'm all finished, I'll screw a light bulb into this, and you'll see it turn on. All right, so step one is to install the plastic boxes at your desired locations. And I just want to point something out for you real quick. You see these little bump outs right here? It's about maybe an eighth of an inch from the box. You want to make sure you get these flush against the front of the 2x4, and I'll show you why. As you can see, I've already installed these boxes, one for the light and one for the switch. This last one is for the receptacle. And like I was saying before, you want to keep these bump outs flush with the front of this 2x4, because when you put the drywall on the wall that's half inch thick, the front of the box will be completely flush with the drywall. So let me nail this in real quick. And there you have it. Okay, so right here I have our feed wire that comes from our electrical box, which is usually located in the laundry room or somewhere in your basement. And I like to get this into the first box so we have power to it. But as you can see, I can't run it straight across the stud like so because when the drywall gets put on, it'll crush the wire. So what we have to do is drill a hole, half inch thick, right in the center of the stud so we can get the wire into this box. And right now I'll show you how to do that. And then I'll do one more up top so we can get into the ceiling for our light fixture. Step two, done. Okay, so step three is the installation of the wire, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. As you can see, I have the, the feed wire already put through the knockout in the back of the box. Now, with this wire, I'm gonna put it in the top knockout, and then I'm gonna bring this side over and put it in the bottom knockout of this box. And then to connect our switch to our light, I'll bring this wire down into the back knockout of the switch box. And then through the back of the light box. And there you have it. Alright guys, so step four is uh, to support the wire with uh, insulated staples like this. Um, as you can see, um, I have one right here, 
and one right here. And I'm gonna put my last one in right here. Keep in mind that these have to be within 12 inches of each box. So that's why I'm gonna put it around six inches and just hammer it in like that and the support of the wire is finished. All right guys, so uh, step five is uh, stripping the sheathing off of the cable. And as you can see, I've done it with this wire down here, revealing a black, a white, and a copper ground wire. As I did the same thing in this box with the two wires, revealing the same wires. And then I'll show you how to strip the sheathing off right now. You grab your side cutters, and you want to start right at the edge and give a nice pinch, then rotate it clockwise until the sheathing rips a little bit. Then grab one of the wires with your side cutters and pull back on the sheathing to reveal the other two wires. And that's how you unsheathe the cable. All right, so step six is to splice the wire and wire nut the splices. And if you come down here, I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. Okay, so this is the receptacle. Um, receptacles are hot all the time. They're constantly hot. If you plug one in, plug, plug in, whatever you plug in will work automatically. So all we want to do here is take our hot feed wires, which are these right here, and splice them directly, hot to hot, white, which is neutral, white to white, and ground to ground. But we also want to add what we call a ground tail on them. So if you take a little extra piece of scrap wire and connect all three together using your pliers in a clockwise motion, snip the excess and turn clockwise until tight. And like I said, you do the same thing with the white and the black. Okay, and if we move up here, this one's a little different. This is a switch. First off, you want to identify which black or hot wire goes to the light itself, which is this one, and which hot wire is the feed wire. And then in a switch, all you're going to do is unsheathe these with your strippers and splice these together. And then with the ground wire, you want to do the same thing, but add a tail to it. Clockwise motion, like so, and wire nut it. And then this one, since it's by itself, it's not extending to any other box, Right now we just wrap it up and put it back in the box. Okay, and this is your finished product. With your hot black wire, your two black wires come out and you splice a little pigtail onto it. Same thing with your two white wires, splice a little pigtail onto it. And the same thing with your ground wire. And then if we come up to the switch, all you do with the switch is you pigtail the ground wire you do nothing with a neutral besides splice the two together, no pigtail on the neutral. And then the two black wires, you leave separated. Okay, so in step seven, we're going to be installing all the devices, which is one light fixture, one switch, and one outlet. As you can see here, I've uh, shoved the excess wire to the back of the box, just so our two black wires and our ground wires sticking out. And if you can also see, I put a little loop on these two black wires, and I'll show you how to do that right now. If you see this little hole in your uh, strippers, you put it, the wire right through there, and just give a 180 degree bend, and there you have a nice little loop. And then, so I'll start hooking up the device. The bare ground wire goes to the green screw, screw it in there. 
you flip it over and you'll notice that both screws are gold. Um, in electric, you always hook the hot wire up to the gold screws, which is why you have two gold screws, because you have two hot wires. And the wire that goes up to the light is known as the switch leg. And I'll uh, give you a little demonstration after we power this thing on. Now I go down to the outlet and do the same thing here. Brown wire to green ground screw. Now the difference with the receptacles are that they have the gold screw for the hot but they also have the silver screw for the white. So I'll do the white wire first, hook up to the silver screw. <clears throat> the loops I made in the wire just make it really easy for it to just slide right into the screw. Tighten it up, okay, and the outlet and the switch are done. Now I just have to do the light fixture. And just like the switch and the receptacle, this light fixture has a silver screw for the neutral or white wire and a gold screw for the black hot wire. In this case, there's no ground termination, so you can just roll it up and put it in the back of the box. Now, this one, loop the white into the silver screw, give it a nice tighten, do the same with the black, and there you have it. All the devices are installed. Okay, step eight is put on device faceplates and turn the power on. So, as you can see, I've screwed all my devices in. They each have a screw at the bottom and a screw at the top. Same with this one, screw on the bottom and screw on the top. Now, I have a faceplate for this one, which screws in, and then I have a faceplate for this receptacle, which screws in right in the middle. Okay, and now that I have the faceplates on, I'm gonna walk over here to plug the power in, and this simulates cutting your feed wire into your panel box at home. Okay, so now it's plugged in, we should have power over here. We'll see if the light works. The light works. Then we'll plug this in to see if this overhead projector works. Let me flip it on real quick. And that works as well. So let me reiterate the fact that your receptacle box is hot all the time, regardless of whether your switch is on or off. And that is how you wire an outlet, a switch, and a light fixture. All right, thanks guys. I appreciate you watching uh, our YouTube video. My name's John. I was obviously the star of the show, but this man right here was behind the scenes filming. My name's Brendan. I was behind the scenes the whole time watching my man John take care of the whole outlet scenario. So hope you guys enjoyed and learned something today. See ya.